Hello, my name is Kirsten Kopenharv, and this is my story. When I was younger, I did not really know God and never tried to have a relationship with Him. I was always afraid of what people would think about me if they knew I became a Christian. I had constant fear of not being good enough and had the desire to look to worldly things instead of God. I was constantly living in fear, anxiety, and stress. I started to come to church more consistently in middle school, but still was never close with God. It wasn't until I started going to high school ministry that I started getting close to God. Ever since I've been going to high school ministry on a regular basis, I've experienced so much love from my community group and I've been able to leave behind old patterns in my life. I went to fall retreat for the first time this fall and experienced God, God's love in greater ways than I ever could have imagined. Baptism has been on my mind for a while, but after that weekend, God made me realize that I should not have to live in fear. I immediately came home and told my parents I wanted to get baptized. Once I started trusting God more, He has helped me to read my Bible every day and has given me a lot of courage that I did not have before. I realized Jesus died on the cross and made the ultimate sacrifice so that I could be saved from my sin and have eternal life. I realized that the next step in my faith was to get baptized and, and am so excited for what God has in store for me. Hello, my name is Daniel. I'm Kirsten's father. Um, she had asked, well, she, she had told me when she wanted to get uh, baptized that it would be on this date, at this time, and that you would be doing it. So that, that conversation just kept getting better. But I'm thankful for the opportunity to do it. And I'd just like to mention uh, part of Kirsten's growth. Uh, I talked to Brad Mock last week, how important the student ministry is Sunday nights. And if you haven't had the opportunity to bring your kids there, it opens up a lot of conversations between you and your kids. Um, but I'm, I'm very appreciative of them. And some of them are here on stage, her group. They're, they've been such an important part of her life and we're very thankful for them. Kirsten, as part of your profession and faith, I'll ask you a couple questions. Have you accepted Jesus Christ as your savior? Yes. And do you intend to follow him the rest of your life? Kirsten, with that profession, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 